Welcome back. And when you begin working in Teams, you may want to start importing data into Trello. And there is no direct integration to do a standard import. Now you can gather data from a spreadsheet and place it inside of Trello. We're going to show you how to do that right now. Assuming that we wanted to import some data from this spreadsheet. And if we're going to import data into Trello, we are going to need to get one column of data at a time. So once we do that, we're going to copy this data. We're going to head back to Trello. When we come to our list, we're going to click Add a Card. And then we're going to paste the data inside of Trello. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the Add button. And what you're going to notice is that Trello is going to give us a message and ask us if we want to create four cards or if we want to create just one card. We can choose to create four cards from the data. And you'll see that it will line up as if it were four different cards. We can do the same thing with checklist items. And we can add the data in. And we click the Add button you're going to see that it will turn into four different checklist items. Now we can also import data into Trello specifically from a Google Sheet, which is a Google spreadsheet, using the productivity app Zapier. And we can set up the integration in Zapier when a spreadsheet row is added. And we can save and continue in Zapier. We can choose a spreadsheet in our Google Sheets account we can identify the specific spreadsheet to Zapier and then click continue. Then once we verify that Google Sheets is working, we can then go to Trello. And we can choose to create a new list on a specific board. Zapier will identify the available boards for us. And then we can choose the column that we want to bring over. And then we can click continue. We'll then send the test to Trello. Once we've verified that the test will work, we can then click Finish. We can then turn our Zap on. And then we can run the data import. And then you'll see that our import created the new list as we requested. So again, you can import data into Trello given some limitations using Google Sheets as long as your data is set up in columns. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.